failure of Meghan's campaign to ruin the royal family leaves her shattered. Hello, and a very warm welcome to the Top Half News YouTube channel. Early this month, Meghan Markle the most attested former royal arrived in full disguise at an undisclosed location. Harry's narcissistic wife, possibly not one of the most popular individuals on this planet arrived in the UK, but she was traveling in full disguise, according to one of her aides. The Dodges of Sussex arrived at an undisclosed airport on a private jet. She was wearing a disguise because she knows full well how she is viewed by the British public. Due to security reasons, we cannot reveal what disguise Meghan was wearing during her short visit with Prince Harry. And it was not other than Omid Scobie who relayed this information to news media team. On online forums and in social media, many fans have been speculating. So one Sussex detractors suggested that Meghan walks around in some kind of hunchback of Notre Dame outfit. And then someone on Twitter suggested that maybe she could dress as one of the evil sisters from Cinderella. And then another person said that Meghan has more balls than Harry and could be disguised as a man. So if anybody saw a very strange-looking person hanging around the royals during the Platinum Jubilee, who absolutely didn't fit in. I'm talk talking about Harry, then maybe you spotted Meghan and her disguise. So what do you all think would be a perfect disguise for Meghan Markle? But of course, Meghan and Harry failed to ruin the royal family because the Queen's Platinum Jubilee was such a success. After being booed on the steps of St. Paul's Cathedral and then forced and back into the obscurity that Meghan fully deserves, her overall plan to destroy the British royal family was completely shattered. You could see it in her malicious, fake smiling face. This nefarious implant into the highest echelons of society and tradition had lost her battle. The people loved the royal family and Her Majesty the Queen and Meghan's evil plans to besmirch their reputation had come full circle back onto herself. It was as if the royal household held a mirror up towards Meghan and her disgusting lying attempts to soil their honor. Now that's according to an observer at the scene. Then Meghan Markle flew back to their Mick mansion in Montecito, California, a broken and disgraced couple of con artists who really seemed to have lost their edge. And the Netflix extravaganza that they're trying to promote is now in limbo without their connection to the royal family. They're just a couple of ordinary people who somehow got to live in a 16-bathroom pro mansion, complete with cheap-looking Californian Mexican furniture. Netflix has already lost hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and they could lose even more. If they dare to promote the woke Sussex's disaster. See it just doesn't bode well. And the universal karma has slowly come back for Meghan and Harry. If Netflix and Spotify had any courage whatsoever, they would sue for breach of contract. And maybe then they could get at least some of the money back that they spent on this conniving couple of con artists. At this point, even many Americans are confused as to how exactly those two have managed to hold on to their royal titles, in spite of their best efforts to destroy the royal family. And a royal source has also claimed that leaving the royal family was a tragedy for Meghan Markle. So this insider said, look these two fools always believed they were far more important than our most gracious majesty. So off they flounce with stupidity ringing in their ears and totally oblivious to the reason large media companies were interested in them. It became clear to everyone when the ginger wind sold the memory of his much-loved late mother. So this American cable TV outfit made a mockery of her life. Meghan Markle had nothing to lose. She had a reputation as a bully and her father had allowed her narcissistic ways to thrive. He never took her for help or therapy. And she is now in total control of what they do and says and sign. This Platinum Jubilee weekend has been a financial and social disaster for the Montecito misfits, but more so for her. Apparently, they were told that their connection to the British royal family is now limited to invitation only. And they're gonna sit wherever they're told to sit. Their ability to fulfill their Spotify or Netflix contracts is now looking very questionable. 
considering they'll rarely be included in royal family social gathering. Meghan has no credibility in Hollywood whatsoever. She's just the wife of a non-working British prince, but she doesn't even have any kind of portfolio. Her royal life is officially over. Apparently Prince Harry still had not realized that he was really just hurting himself. That cable TV company paid him and Meghan a lot of money. And for that, they had to produce some kind of worldwide interesting content, but of course they can produce anything interesting. And their work ethic or lack thereof was revealed to everyone. So it seems like maybe they finally realized that they received a large retainer and that meant that the company wanted all the juicy details of their life since they first met and the difficulties they faced, they expected them to uncover the royal races who had talked about Archie's skin color. But unfortunately that person didn't exist. That was all just a complete lie designed to garner S-I-M-P-T-H-Y. When questioned about that racist comment, Harry claimed that it took place before they were married. But if that were true, well there was no Archie. He had not been conceived yet. They really believed they could live off the information that being a royal would allow Harry to know. Pretty unfortunate though, that that information was, and is no longer forthcoming. They are not top-tier royals anymore. They don't hold any sort of position within the royal family and their position was made abundantly clear by Her Majesty the Queen signing off on that seating plan at St. Paul's that showed the Sussex is that they have no part to play in anything having to do with the family business. And now that decision has made their position with Netflix and Spotify pretty tenuous and rightly so. If the Sussex is really want to live off of their royal family connections, then you know what they should have thought about that. They shouldn't have disrespected a much-loved father and grandfather while he was ill in the hospital. Their disrespect of the grandmother was just too much for the UK to bear and the lies about their kids that took things a step too far. I mean, come on, Harry is not the person who really looks after the Queen. Instead, he is the person who has abused his position to imply that only he has her confidence. He is just a liar and long after Meghan leaves him for greener pastures, he's gonna regret ever walking away from his royal life for a yacht girl with no manners. I am sick and tired of people saying that Meghan Markle is intelligent. Really, how do you figure that? She thought that she was gonna take Hollywood by storm when she came back as a member of the British royal family. But what she didn't seem to realize was the disgusted felt by the whole of the American elite that a nobody who was just pretending to be somebody big had the gall to badmouth a family that she disrespected. And then she told so many lies, blaming them for the decision that she made to take Harry to the US, where she could exert more control over him. At this point, I have lost all respect for Harry. He is just a Peter Pan. He cannot seem to grow up. And I guess now he figures he doesn't have to, He's got a new mommy figure in the form of Meghan who will have destroyed absolutely everything within the next 12 months. But you know what, at the end of the day, it's Harry's fault. They are losing any credibility. They had left so quickly and these companies have already paid a lot of money to them and having to repay them is gonna force them to beg to come back to the UK. But it's too late. Those doors have already slammed shut. Usually people who are conniving, sly and cunning are considered to be intelligent just due to those behaviors. But the thing about it is, I don't think those traits actually require any intelligence whatsoever. If Mecca was really so smart, then she would have fooled a lot more people about who she really is. I mean, more and more people have caught on to her games. Her fan club kept saying that they were coming back to be part-time royal. Now, I've also read something saying that that cottage isn't even theirs anymore. And Eugenie and her husband, they had to move out while Meghan and Harry were visiting, but I don't really believe it. Has the palace actually said anything? We know we cannot rely on anything that Meghan's people pass on because it's never true. You, what do you think about Meghan Markle and Harry? Please let me know what you think below in the comment section. 
and we can also talk some more about this couple. If you preferred our video tonight, don't forget to like and share it with your friends and relatives who would enjoy it. And please support us more and more by subscribing to the Top Half News channel. Now, thank you so much for tuning in. Goodbye, and I will